Hi, welcome back. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, I've had another failure on a, an industrial laser cutter at work, and uh, this is the uh, compressor off one of one of our cutters. Uh, it's gone wrong, so uh, we'll roll the tiles, and I'll tell you a bit more about it, and we'll see if we can fix it. Right, first up, this is a. 380 watt, 280 litres a minute uh, compressor. These are um, popular little compressors for aquariums. If you're uh, into a bit of a serious aquarium, this is uh, definitely a beast you might want to use. Um, they're also standard kit for laser cutters. And um, this is one of two, I've got five of them. This is one of two that's gone wrong. Uh, the other one I've made a temporary fix on this one, I think, well, we'll see. It sounds worse than the other one. Uh, I'll just start it up so you can have a listen. It will blow the microphone out because it is just so loud. Now, if I just carry on talking at my normal level, when I switch that on, you'll get some kind of idea as to how loud it is. That doesn't sound too craggy to me. The last one had a fault with the, um, uh, like any pump, there has to have two valves in it. So there's a valve at either end and a, and a little shuttle that goes backwards and forwards. Um, and a little electromagnet in the middle here. So uh, they're not complicated and they've been quite reliable. This is, this is one of two that came from a batch of machines. Uh, I bought two machines, I think probably five years ago, four or five years, excuse me. I bought two machines four or five years ago and both compressors from that batch have gone faulty. Um, I can't get spares kits for them. If somebody knows where to get a spares kit, I'm all ears. But um, what we'll do is we'll just strip it open and have a little look. I think I know what the fault is, but you never know until you get there. Okay, there's a valve. Let's take the other end off. This is the inlet side, and uh, oh, that's interesting. On all the others I've taken apart over the years, there's a, a piece of foam in here to um, uh, act as an air filter. Interesting. Okay, there, Ooh. gasket, one very manky looking ball bearing. That's, uh, that's one of the seals. Right, this is the shuttle. Let's take that sealing ring off and the shuttle should come out. There we go. Ah, right. That's interesting. The um, I'll give you a close-up, but uh, this is the problem I had on the last one. That doesn't feel too cracky, I have to say. This is the uh, shuttle. Uh, this goes backwards and forwards, and this is one of the valves. And uh, it's just a, a neoprene gasket. And that feels to me like that's in the process of going hard, and it's not sealing. So that might be some of the problem. Um, yeah, I think we'll... Where are we going to go from here? Let me have a think about that. I've had to change microphone because the battery's gone flat in my uh, little road. Uh, right, this is the... Um, uh, this is the... Oh, that's interesting. A little bit of swarf there. Okay. Uh, this is the... Uh, outlet end and I just thought I'd have a little look at this ceiling ring. Yeah this one's gone the same. It's gone hard and I think that's going to be the problem. I think because it's not sealing uh, and it's not flexible enough to seal then um, the shuttle is moving backwards and forwards just too far and banging on the end stops. So I think we might be best off 
Blimey, there's a crack in there. I'll show you that. Um, we might be best off to just make two new ceiling rings. So, uh, yeah, we'll give that a go, I think. All right, here's the, uh, here's the crack. Looking at it, I wouldn't be at all surprised that that was in there for manufacture. There doesn't seem to be any other problem. Oh, there's a tiny one there too. Hmm. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll just make two new ceiling rings and give it a go. We'll take this one out. Oh yeah, that's pretty hard. Might be able to get, get away with turning it over because um, then it might seal. Because it's got a it's gone a bit dished. Okay. Uh, right, we'll cut another one of those out. You can see I've been here before. Um, off a well-known auction site, I bought this. This is as thin as I could get. I think it's one millimetre butyl rubber. Uh, or neoprene, I can't remember what, same thing probably. Um, so, you can see that was the from the other one I fixed. That was that. So, um, looking at it, we're more or less there to cut that out. So I'll, uh, I'll just uh, get the scissors and we'll sli slice that one out. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Roughly around, and then do the job a bit neater. There we go. There we go. A hole punch from my late father-in-law. Ah. There we go. This is uh, this is a gust mass number sixty one foreign. It's got foreign print on it. Now, here's an interesting thing: um, things that were imported into the UK after the Second World War, because they thought uh, having Germany printed on them uh, as the country of origin would be. Uh, uh, would be detrimental to sales. They printed foreign on them. So my guess is this is a probably a 1950s uh, hole punch, possibly made in Germany. Anyway, uh, really good quality. I mean, it must be to survive this long. Okay, uh, let's um, take the bits of what do you call that? tape off, give it a bit of a clean, put it together again. There we go. Right. See this is as stiff as anything. Spot on. Right, reassemble. Reassembly time. Uh, we'll start with the shuttle. There's the end of the shuttle, put the ball bearing in, I've got the ceiling ring and the end cap, there we go. Right, we can run it. I've left the, um, see, uh, the, end, uh, 
the air filler end cap that goes on this end off, just in case we need to do some more work on it, but uh, let's give it a go. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, a really simple fix uh, on quite a common bit of kit, I suspect. So, uh, yeah, if you've got a problem with um, your pump, your aquarium pump, your laser cutter pump, they do go wrong. Um, get yourself a bit of um, one millimeter butyl or neoprene, I can't remember what it was, uh, and um, replace the valves. Piece of cake, really simple. Thanks for watching, uh, do hit the bell and subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Look after yourself, take care.